Stampers. Welcome to the craft room. Today I want to show you this very, very simple card that you can make using a stenciling technique. So let's get started. We're going to begin with a piece of very vanilla cardstock, and this piece is five and a half by eight and a half inches. I just scored it in the middle and folded it in half. Then what you're going to do is run a scrap piece of paper through your little leaves sizzlet. And you're going to set the leaves aside because what we're interested in now is using the leftover piece as a stencil. And that's what this is going to act as. And you're going to use some temporary adhesive and just adhere a little bit of temporary adhesive to the back of your stencil. And you're going to set your stencil on your card. You can also use a removable tape around the edges if you feel like this is a little too close for you to do your stenciling. I'll leave that up to you. We're going to take some Certainly Celery ink first and a little sponge and I'm actually going to squeeze my sponge so that the end is smaller and we're just going to ink up our sponge and we're just going to pat down our ink. And you can rub just a little bit around if you want as well. Just have to be careful because some of these parts are pretty delicate. And when you get here to this part, this is where you want to make sure you're not going over the edge and that you're just stenciling the little leaves. Again, you can pounce and you can rub. And then we're going to go ahead and lift that stencil up and we're going to place it again randomly and we're going to do the exact same step again with our stenciling, a little bit of rubbing, a little bit of pouncing and fill that whole thing in again. And we're going to lift that one up and we're going to do it one more time and this time we're going to use um, a bit darker ink. So we're going to put that stencil down, and this time I'm going to use some Pear Pizzazz ink and a different sponge. Again, I'm going to squeeze that sponge, and we're just going to fill in this stencil one last time. And we're going to take that off. If any of your adhesive kind of stays on your card, you can come in with your adhesive remover and just remove those little excess pieces of adhesive without a problem. The next thing we're going to do is take a little piece of scrap paper. You can use any type of paper or even a piece of cardstock. And we're going to take our two-step bird punch and we're going to go ahead and just punch out that bird again. We're concerned not about the pieces we punched out but using this as a stencil and I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut around this bird trying to leave as much room as I possibly can since again this is going to be a stencil so we want to make sure that we have edges that we don't go over and again with this piece I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back and you can decide which way you want your bird to face if you want him facing that way or that way and we're just going to put a little bit of temporary adhesive down and set him exactly where we would like him. I'm thinking there. And I'm going to use some basic black ink and a basic black sponge to sponge him in. And to get him dark enough, you may have to go over him a few times. And you also might want to squeeze this sponge. This is where my fingers get inky again to get in some of these little spots without going over your stencil. And I'm kind of pouncing and doing some rubbing to really get in those crevices. And again, you want to make him dark enough so that you cover up any of the leaves that are right underneath him. And you could choose to make your bird a dark blue or some other color that would cover up the green. I just like the silhouette look of the black. And once you're done with that, you're just going to peel back this stencil. And you 
want to check and be sure that you don't have a lot of black on your fingers. If you do, now is a great time to wash your hands before going any farther with the card. And you can remove the little bits of adhesive that were left. And the last thing we're going to do is take a greeting. This is the Thinking of You stamp from the Sincere Salutation stamp set. And I'm just going to ink that up with plain basic black classic ink. And then we're just going to stamp that onto the card. And there you have it, a really pretty silhouetted card using stenciling and one stamp. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Card Play, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon here in the craft room.